Israel's uh, first lady will be questioned uh, later this uh, week over the possible, uh, let's say, uh, misuse of uh, public funds. It comes after a lawyer reportedly told the attorney general last weekend that Sarah Netanyahu's mental status should exempt her from investigation. A Leo Homer, diplomatic correspondent for the News Today, reports. The Netanyahu family has been drawing a lot of attention for many years now, but apparently a lot of things have nonetheless remained out of the spotlight. While consultations are ongoing regarding the possibility of summoning Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to an investigation over an alleged affair in which his wife Sara hid hundreds of official presents the couple received throughout the years, another scandal is expected to culminate Thursday. The First Lady is due to arrive at the police headquarters to be questioned over what is called the Prime Minister's residences affair. This investigation deals with an alleged attempt to make it appear that payments for several services given in the Netanyahu's private house in Caesarea were related to the official residence in Jerusalem, in other words, making the state pay for them. Since the launch of the official investigation last July, there were many alleged bids to foil the inquiry at its initial stages, with the latest attempt being a highly controversial meeting between the Netanyahu family's personal lawyer and the state attorney, during which the lawyer reportedly told the attorney general that Sarah Netanyahu's state of mind should exempt her from being investigated. The Netanyahu family media advisor denied it. In Adam. There's no one stronger or healthier mentally than Sarah Netanyahu, who has endured 20 years of shaming. I don't know if a regular person could withstand that without falling apart. In the case of Netanyahu, because they aren't finding anything serious to bring him down, they attack him through allegations against his wife, mostly through the media. But Netanyahu is only the latest Israeli premier whose alleged wrongdoings are making waves this week. On Tuesday, the Supreme Court will give its final verdict on an appeal submitted by former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert as part of the large-scale corruption scandal centered around the Jerusalem real estate project. Olmert was sentenced in 2014 to six years in jail, and now the Supreme Court will have to rule on his appeal and decide whether Netanyahu's predecessor in office will become the first former Israeli prime minister to sit behind bars. And to know what are the chances that he will sit behind bars, Eli Ochenberg, diplomatic correspondent for the news today, is here. Good evening. Good evening. Good to have you back. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. Uh, so what are the chances that we will eventually, that the Supreme Court will eventually yeah. decide to send well, Eudel Mert to jail? The very elongated legal saga of uh, Eudel Mert, which could have easily been a Hollywood movie or a top-notch yeah, exactly. TV drama, is sort of coming to an end. Tomorrow, the uh, Supreme Court uh, will decide whether Eudel is going to jail for six years, according to his conviction, or maybe he will manage to escape the longer uh, uh, sentence uh, uh, among the two. The other one is shorter, only eight months over the uh, money envelopes uh, affair. And let me just briefly remind you, we're talking about a conviction over uh, uh, Olmert's conduct during his time as the, as the mayor of Jerusalem in the 1990s, later on as a cabinet member, during which he uh, uh, he received bribes uh, in exchange for uh, uh, real estate uh, permissions. And uh, the Holy Land, uh, what is true, known as very the Holy true. Land case. And many pundits and experts uh, believe that the six-year uh, uh, sentence is way too harsh, so we can uh, see tomorrow uh, uh, a decision by the uh, Supreme High Court that uh, uh, that uh, to to reduce uh, the amount of uh, of uh, jail time for Olmert, but this and this is in addition to, to the eight month sentence that he already Separate got sentence. in the envel uh, in the envelope, envelope uh, uh, the money yes, envelope the uh, money affair. envelope uh, uh, affair. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about. Uh, uh, Sarah, the first lady, yeah, the first lady, yeah, Sarah another, Netanyahu, uh, uh, which has mental problems. I didn't know that Sarah Netanyahu has mental problems. Alleged mental problems, which yeah. were, uh, which was quick to deny. Uh, another movie-esque story. She's she's going to uh, uh, to be questioned under uh, under a caution on suspicion of violating uh, integrity uh, this uh, Thursday. But the key element of the story is why does the Netanyahu's are making so many efforts to uh, reduce uh, the flames and the reason is that the numerous allegations could eventually hurt Netanyahu himself. Now, all the mentioned affairs, the butter recycling, the presence, the uh, prime minister's residences, Netanyahu himself is not suspe uh, suspected to be involved in, but, and this is a very important but, if the investigations will mature, Netanyahu will likely be asked if he knew 
about the affairs of his wife and if the answer will be yes he will of course uh, be in uh, big trouble and he's doing whatever he can to uh, prevent that uh, namely what we've discussed here in studio uh, in the past choosing the uh, next uh, attorney general I just uh, I wonder who sends uh, to say my wife is allegedly yeah. mentally unstable uh, uh, to save himself desperate time from. needs uh, desperate measures I assume Okay, okay, I hope that Sarah Netanyahu is not angry about that. Uh, Elia Holberg, thank you very much. To for be this. continued. To be continued.